Chainsaw Man's anime for season 1 ended recently, and it looks like it'll be a little while before we get news about a season 2, even though leakers initially claimed that we might be looking at another core that covers the rest of the manga. If you've seen the anime, the animation has surely blown you away, and the way that every single movement is so fluid and cinematic is certainly something to love about this series. But let's be honest here, one of the main things that we love about Chainsaw Man is the action, the blood, the demon parts flying everywhere everywhere, and the crazy nature of the powers and abilities in the series paired with a cast of characters who all have something off about them. With the team behind anime like God of High School and Jujutsu Kaisen, it honestly has the best of what I like from both of those projects, and still felt different and special somehow, and even though I was a big fan of the official colorings and their style, which did give us a much more acid punk sort of abstract coloring style than in the anime, I've gotta say that for the anime at least, I don't mind the decision to move away from those abstract colors because I think all in all, it worked out really well, but I do think there's another place where we could possibly see this highly stylized coloring style. In a Chainsaw Man video game. Now hear me out. Once upon a time, there was a company named Bandai Namco, and nine times out of 10, they would be the ones releasing anime games so frequently, you really started asking yourself just how the hell they're getting all these licenses and games done so quickly. They're responsible for publishing some of the biggest games in anime, like the Naruto Ultimate Ninja series all the way up to Storm, near Nearly all of the Dragon Ball games in its entire existence, stuff like J-Star's Victory Versus, Jump Force, My Hero One's Justice, and even that one Black Clover game that we all just sort of agreed not to talk about because damn, damn it. But Bandai Namco used to have a very straightforward pattern. Whether it was Seven Deadly Sins or My Hero or even something like Kuroko, they'd create a mobile game or a 3DS game to gauge interest in a series that they think will be popular, and depending on how that game does and the feedback that they get, I'm sure paired with how popular the series then goes on to become, they decide to publish another game for the main consoles at the time, which is how we went from My Hero Battle for All to One's Justice. It used to be that you could always expect that the new hottest anime from Shonen Jump would get some love from Bandai, and if not, maybe they'd be snatched away like Demon Slayer was by Aniplex, who publishes the Demon Slayer game by CyberConnect2, Hinokami Chronicles. But Demon Slayer shows us that even if Bandai isn't able to get their hands on a specific license, that Aniplex is happy to do it. So with Chainsaw Man doing so well, and the very high likelihood that it's gonna be a smash in the US paired with its popularity and cult following in Japan, I think one of these two studios is right now behind the scenes either working on or trying to get the license for a Chainsaw Man game. We've seen Chainsaw Man getting collaborations with other mobile games, and I think that's the quickest way to gauge interest in a series, since you can tell just by how the collab boosts the games that the characters are in, whether or not people are willing to spend money for these characters. If someone is willing to shell out cash for LR Makima and Puzzles and Dragons, then they'd probably also be happy to spend $70 on a game where they can play as Makima as well as Denji and the other cast members. This logic is what led me to making this exact video, because not only does Chainsaw Man deserve a game, I believe it's likely that it'll get one in the near future, but when making a game for a series like this, what should it actually be like? Well, let's discuss a few viable options for what a Chainsaw Man game would work like. Firstly, I think one of the most obvious ways that Chainsaw Man could be turned into a game is by making a style of game that we've already seen developers use for a Bandai published title. But in general, I just think that this style specifically would work, and that's the Warriors or Musou style of game, where you typically feature one character or maybe even a group via co-op, who then go across large areas taking down massive hordes and waves of enemies, as you eventually come across sub-bosses, and finally the main bosses of the level, who would obviously be one of the major devils that Denji and his group come across. With a world like Chainsaw Man where you have so many fodder devils that you could potentially create to add into the swarms of devils that your characters might fight, I think it's definitely the perfect sort of series to do this kind of game with because I'm not gonna lie, the idea of selecting Denji and then just jumping into a horde of zombies and tearing them apart sounds extremely fun to me and I don't even particularly like Warriors games. Each level could be themed off of the devil that you have to fight at the end, so of course the first level would probably be zombie themed with waves of zombies everywhere, but eventually we get to the doll devil, and I'm sure they could do interesting stuff with Eternity Devil's Hotel being a massive, never-ending, closed-in area. The best part of these kind of games is just how over-the-top they go with abilities, since you're literally meant to clear the map of enemies. So I'd love to see how characters like Aki with his cone, or Makimo with her ability to just crush people, 
would play out in this sort of game. And if I had to give it a title, I would call it Chainsaw Warriors, because, you know, that's just kind of the naming convention that they follow. Another style of game that it seems like Bandai is getting really into is the turn-based RPG, sort of in the same style as Persona 5 or the new One Piece Odyssey game. In these games, you journey with a party of four characters who you can switch in and out of if you have even more members on the side, and you can roam the world pretty freely through different large zones as you do battle in a turn-based style with the ability to even do Team Ultimates to really show the characters off with some flashy cinematics. I think, believe it or not, this would be the perfect kind of game to allow you to create your own kind of character, because as much as I don't usually like that in games, I think being able to make a character that has to take on and stack different packs and contracts would just be really, really interesting and could lead to some very awesome gameplay, considering again just how many doubles there are in Chainsaw Man. These sorts of games tend to be highly stylized, and I think more than any of the other games on our list, this game would benefit the most from Chainsaw Man's official color scheme, which could really make the game stand apart from other anime titles. If they didn't want to create a character though, this game could play very much like Persona in the fact that you could follow each day of Denji's life as a devil hunter, with you having to go home and deal with the Hayakawa family and their insanity, just to get up the next day and explore some other random corner of Japan where another devil is causing chaos. I think this sort of game could really give us a lot of bonus scenes between the characters, and if Fujimoto was involved, it could really flesh out a lot of the relationships in the series, but what I also like is just how this style of game has the versatility to extend even to Chainsaw Man Part 2, where we know Denji and the other main character go to school, so it would just kind of be a natural transition. And if I had to title this game, I would probably title it something like Chainsaw Man Hero of Hell. Lastly, the game that I think is probably the most likely, because come on, we all know it, a Chainsaw Man fighting game. Now, look, I personally don't think that Chainsaw Man is the best series to give a fighting game to. I think they'd be better served with literally anything else on this list, but Bandai is making Dragon Ball Dead by Daylight knockoffs right now, so honestly, anything flies at the moment. We know that every popular anime at some point does get some sort of fighting game, or at least they did in the past. But let's say that they wanted to do that here, how would they even go about it? Because first off, do you do 2D, 2.5D, 3D? How many Ds are we talking about here? But jokes aside, I think they'd likely go with the easiest route of a 3D arena fighter. Although I will say that I personally think that 2D would be a lot more interesting, and even something in the vein of Dragon Ball Fighters would of course change my mind about this whole no fighting game thing immediately, simply because the visuals would be just too amazing. And they'd certainly match the anime's perfect CGI style, but this effect could be achieved by a team like CyberConnect2, who we've already seen do God's work for Kimetsu no Yaiba Demon Slayer, but I won't put CyberConnect2's name in this hat because I'm praying that they're working on Naruto Storm Connections instead right now, with an announcement coming likely in February. Chainsaw Man doesn't have a huge cast if you take away all the characters that die, but if you wanted to stretch it and include everyone who could technically fight, then I'm sure we would have a thousand and Kobeni mains racking up wins on the leaderboard, going absolutely insane when her ultimate features Dance Dance Revolution. The potential for a game like this to at least be extremely flashy is the one reason that I'd consider it, since flashy is Chainsaw Man's middle name, but what do you think about the likelihood that Chainsaw Man could get a fighter, and who would you main if it did? Honestly, I'd be happy with any of these examples, and like this video to get it to a thousand likes, and I'll do another one of these videos for an anime series that you choose in the comment section below, because I'll be picking the comment with the highest likes. Let me know if you guys enjoy this sort of content, and I love you guys. It's Pineapple. Peace.